Hey everybody, Adam Savage here in my cave, and in light of the fact that Ghostbusters Frozen Empire is now available to buy or rent, we thought we would show you some extra videos we shot while we were covering the making of the film last year. This time from the prop makers. This is some really good stuff. Check it out. All right, man. This, what, tell me what this, this is. This is the single shot blaster. And this is a brand new prop for this film. Absolutely. And it's, a, it's, a, it's, called, it's called the single shot? Single shot. Oh. So this looks, oh, wow, that's nice. Yeah. It's very comfortable. Very comfortable. There. And that's yeah. the stop here also. Stop you putting your hand in front of the beam. Oh, in front of the beam, of course. Yeah. This looks like a modified neutrino one. So this is a mirror image. And then we've got this little bit on the, back, the back here. We've this got new the business end here. Yeah, that's the taser and the, um, the actual wand head. Oh. Does it, this light up? It does. So if we... Oh! And there's the firing button. Oh, can I do it? You can. It vibrates! It vibrates. Oh, that's great. I, I love that the props actually have feedback yep. for the actors. That must make them, them love it too, because I can't see the light from here. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, you've even got a little cyclotron detail we here. We have, yeah. That is so cool. It's got its own cyclotron. Now, did you make any rubberized stunt versions of these? No, we haven't had a chance to make, haven't had time to make a rubber one. We really? haven't, haven't re been required to make one either, so. And, and how many of these guys did you build? We've made two, and then there's another one in the lab, upside down. Being worked on. Being worked on. And this is part of Zadamore's team's. This is all their prototypes and along with the new packs. Oh, that's fantastic. I love it. And it's also, it's like, it feels like a real bit of kit. It does, yeah. Yeah, it's got some real heft to it. Um, now I'm curious about some of the found bits. This seems like a, like a, did you guys make this? No, no, this is, this is a bit, we got um, all the sort of old uh, electronic and factory salvage really? stuff. So that's, yeah, we just bought that as is. Unfortunately, <laughs> the switch, fitted in the end. Right, a little bit of a, a little I momentary. I think it was a, something to do with gas. It wasn't anything to do with electrics at all. Oh, really? Yeah. Like a little uh, yeah. a, a gas coupling. Yeah. And then there's uh, uh, this guy here, the cuff here. That's made from a, uh, a half a thermos flask. Oh, that's great. I was to give wondering. give it that kind of homemade look about it. Yeah, I was like, did these guys turn this? But no, no. of course, that's a thermos. That makes total sense. And then I feel like I've seen a piece of equipment with something like this on it. Yeah, I, can't I think remember you might have done, yeah. it is. That is gorgeous. Oh my God, this is so much fun. Uh, and that's actually really super comfortable. It's not bad, even given its weight. Yeah, we had to, the, the arm really helps the stability. Yeah. Without that, it was too, too weighty. So we added that on. That was always going to be just on a, a cable, free oh. hanging. But then we found that because there's so much weight on there, and of course it's the girls are using it, so right. they've even got thinner wrists. Right, right. So um, we then put in this pipe, which works really well. It really does. It's a and significant. It makes it, it makes it more sort of industrial. And you can aim it better yeah. and all of that. And these uh, straps are from the original. Yeah, they're Alice just packs. The bits left over from the Alice packs we didn't use. That is fabulous. Oh man, <laughs> I'm going to wear this to my next con. That's for sure. Mm. So you made one of these for Zetamore's lab being worked on. Did you make other bits of Ghostbusters hardware that's in progress? Yes, we have. Uh, there's ones and uh, a single shot blaster. So did you then have to come up with what's inside those? Well, that was the fun bit because nobody knows what's inside. Right. And what we've put in is relatively boring. So we've made a whole load of really interesting gear that we think should be inside it. So it's like, the, it's the fantasy. Instead, what's in here is some IC boards and a whole bunch of wires and yeah. things, but you put in some like cool little bits and some cool, Yeah, some really cool little bits. Oh, that's fabulous. I love that kind of detailing where no one knows what it's supposed well, to be. Well, also like. as well, they, you can't draw it. So right. we get the chance to actually put, put a bit of input in. So your modeler just takes a bin of bunch parts of and starts- Bins of parts and just, oh, this looks good. This yeah. looks good. Oh yeah, what if I stick that in there? That's, that's yeah. It's got to be a fun day. It is a fun day. Yeah. <laughs> I want to tell you so much fun covering this film, especially how gleeful everyone was to be making practical props. A reminder that Ghostbusters Frozen Empire is now available to buy or rent. Watch it now.